Like the video in the next 10 seconds or be banned for life in NBA 2K21 and you don't want that. Yo, 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 if you guys are looking for a safe and legit way to buy NBA 2K21 accounts or stacked accounts, make sure you guys go check out Sports TMB first link in the description. You guys, it's worth checking out this year, man. Yo, if you need 12 and 0 completed, you need evolve cards or if you want your domination completed or even get cheap mt make sure you hit up r6 credits down below and tell them your boy sam sent you yo what's up youtube it's your boy sam so today we have a brand new vc glitch on a brand new player you can do this on a 60 overall so this is easy to set up my boy JJ2K is going to take over. Make sure you guys go subscribe down to him for more VC glitches in 2K21. Okay, so hopping right into this, bro. The first thing we're going to want to do is create a new player. Now, if you guys know or think you know what's going to happen, we are going to be making a small forward this time. Reason being, somehow I figured out that if you guys make a small forward, you get more VC per contract. So we're just going to make him a small forward, make him the pure red pie chart. For some reason, that also helps with this. Again, from my research, this is what just I know. So next, um, whenever it comes down to your potential, just set your attributes however you want to do it. It is not important because we're not going to be upgrading this player whatsoever. So just hurry up and sim through that. Get all this stuff done. Um, recommendations, make them as small as possible. Uh, weight all the way down. Again, this really doesn't matter that much as long as you guys are a small forward. So just zoom through this. So once you guys are done creating that player, we are going to want to hit start my career. Now, again, we're not going to be playing through high school or college. This is not one of those glitches. What we are going to do is hop straight into the NBA. So now, once we hop straight into the NBA, there is one thing you guys need to know. We need to go to a crappy team to start this glitch out. Um, reason being is because we're going to sim this first season. So whenever I say this, the only team that I recommend going to, because every single time I've done this glitch or any glitch revolving around teams that don't make the playoffs, it's always the Pistons for me. You guys can risk it, but if you guys follow what I do in this video, you'll be fine. And also you guys need to select Archie Baldwin to help with VC negotiations. Don't be dumb and pick Harper Dell because this is not going to help you guys in the long run. Okay. So now, like I said, we are just going to sim to the end of the regular season. So while I fast forward this, do not skip through this part because I'm going to tell you guys a lot of information you guys need to know doing this. So what we're going to be taking advantage of in today's video is the minute system. So by simming this season, what it is going to do is going to set up one, a save point and two, it's also going to allow us to get to the second season. And if you guys do not know how this works, the second season, you guys get granted a lot more VC. We do not want to play this first season because you guys are on a 400 VC a game contract. And honestly, in this video, I'm going to get you guys double that VC per game. So just know I'm helping you guys out by telling you this and not telling you guys to sim through the video because if you do, you guys are going to miss something very crucial. I can guarantee that. So while this season does sim as it is about to be done, once the season does end, we're going to just going to sim through everything revolving around the postseason because none of that matters and as long as like i said as long as you guys went to the pistons you will not make the playoffs if you guys went to the lakers because you just wanted to go to the lakers it's not gonna work it's that simple bro hopefully you've been following my instructions because if you do everything's gonna be perfectly fine so like i said this is gonna be like the longest waiting screen you guys are ever gonna experience in your life i don't know why it takes so long but once you guys do get granted with the question, yes, we're going to enter in free agency. Now I'm going to show you guys a couple quick things because this is very important. Some teams are not going to give you guys a high contract, all right? I originally tried to go to the Bulls, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I tried to go to the Bulls. So you guys are going to try to see me finagle for this contract. You guys need to follow my steps in order to secure a contract because if you do mess it up like I'm about to mess up, you guys will realize this is actually kind of hard. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do, you guys only want to offer about 810 VC. If you guys offer 840 VC, the GM is going to get pissed off and offer you this contract to either decline or accept. So just know that hopping in. Don't worry if it doesn't work the first time. There's plenty of teams to choose from. As you guys are going to see here, now we're going to try for the Lakers. It's going to be the same exact scenario though, okay? So what I'm just trying to say is don't get overly cocky i did want to show you guys these clips just to know this does happen so don't really worry about that some teams are not going to give you guys high contracts you're going to see me try to finesse for a little bit more vc from the lakers but this is just the whole process they're not going to want to accept whatever i offer them so just take this with a grain of salt they're not going to try to give you a lot of vc so 
this is the time that you guys really need to pay attention. We are going to go to the Spurs in this clip. You guys want to do the same exact thing that I do in order to ensure you get the most VC possible. We're going to turn down the teammate grade and everything else, and then offer this amount of VC to make sure that we get it. We're going to offer 805 VC. They're obviously going to decline it, and then we're just going to slowly move down the VC count wise. Now we're going to offer 800 VC. They're going to decline it again, and this is going to be like their final offer. We are going to accept for 785 VC. Sometimes you guys can get 790 VC. I'm not going to lie to you, but 785 for the sake of this video is perfectly fine for me. So now, the next thing you guys are going to want to do, okay? You guys are going to want to go into stats and then my minutes. And this is when we're going to make sure that we have 10 minutes exactly. Hopefully you guys ask for only 10 minutes. If you did anything more, this process is going to be a whole lot harder. Not even going to lie to you. So now what we're going to want to do is hop into the very first game. Now that we know we have 10 minutes. Okay, so now that we are in the first game, we're going to be playing two of these games just to let you guys know. So up front, it's going to take you guys about 10 minutes in order to set this up, but I promise it's going to be worth it. So the goal in this method is to get um, as bad as a grade as possible and to do as crappy as possible. So the first thing that I always do whenever I try to attempt this to start this out is grab my two very first fouls. What that's going to do is going to drop me down to a very low C minus. And then from there, I'm just going to run around the court, getting leave assignments, fouling again. But the whole purpose of this, you guys need to at least have three turnovers for this to work the f grade is mandatory but you guys need at least three turnovers i cannot stress that enough but once you guys do have an f grade this is when you guys can start to focus on grabbing the ball running out of bounds and doing anything that's going to get you guys subbed out as you guys see right there so again it doesn't really matter what quarter you end up making it into because you're not going to be getting bc for these first two games anyway um, this is just going to make sure that this drops our minutes played because the whole point in this is to get as limited minutes as possible. Um, from what I've seen, there's actually a way to get zero minutes in a game, but I heard it takes a lot of dedication. And for me, I'm just not going to go through all that effort. So let me just say before I fast forward into the second game, like I said, you guys need to have three turnovers. And then once you guys get your three turnovers with your F, then you guys can foul out of the game. It does not matter what quarter you foul out. We do not want to finish this game though. We need to foul out in order for this to work. So let me fast forward to the next game because you guys understand what you need to do okay so end of game one the first thing you guys are going to notice once you do foul out whatever quarter you do do it in you're going to notice one we're going to get no badge progress again this doesn't matter no badge progress is good that means you did nothing in order to make sure you've had a good game and then the second thing you guys are going to notice is that we've earned no vc once you realize we've earned one no vc and you've got no badge progress you know you've done this perfectly right okay Okay, so now that you guys understand the process, I'm not going to show you this much of this gameplay. Just know you guys are going to hop into game two and do the literally exact same thing. So again, we're going to grab about three turnovers and then also foul out around the second to third quarter. Whenever you guys get that F grade and you get the three turnovers, after that, you guys are able to just foul out and get all the benefits of doing so again you guys are going to get no badge progress and two you're going to get no vc for playing this game but again this is going to be the final time you guys are going to get no progress trust me just believe me so once you guys do do that this game's obviously going to end once you guys foul out and then once the game fouls out we're going to do this very simple step in order to make sure you did it right Okay, now that game two is over, what we're going to want to do is go into stats and then my minutes. Now, if you guys did everything that I told you to do, on the rotation screen, you guys should only have five minutes a game. And this is how you guys know you did the method correct. And now you guys are free to get as much VC as you guys possibly want. So once we know we have five minutes played, we're now going to hop into game three and then follow what I have to tell you guys. And then we're just going to keep repeating it over and over again to get unlimited VC. Okay, so now that we are in game three, this is going to work for every single game after this. So once you know what to do in game three, just apply it to every single game you guys are going to play next. So to start out, what we're going to want to do is get a little bit of time played to start out this game. So the moment you guys do get subbed in to start off the game, there's going to be like 30 seconds left in the first quarter. We are not going to grab a foul in the first quarter. So do not foul, all right? Because if you guys foul early in the first quarter or anytime you instantly get subbed in, there is a possibility that you're going to have to play the whole fourth quarter. Order, so we're not going to want to do that what we are going to want to do is get another f grade game because the whole purpose of getting these f's now is so that we don't get more minutes played for doing and having a better game so we're still going to follow the same process of getting turnovers um we're not going to foul out though the last video you guys had a bunch of questions saying yo i didn't get any vc from now on now that we're in the third game and every single game after that we are not going to grab any foul outs okay so we're never fouling out again because you guys do not get rewarded for fouling out so once this first quarter is over we're just going to do a very simple thing in this process um 
with this in your second quarter i'm going to recommend grabbing four fouls okay so grab your four fouls and i'm going to sim through this because you guys understand what you need to do you guys know how to foul it's not hard we're just going to run down the court hold the middle button and get those four fouls as quick as possible so once you guys do that we are going to be put into the third or fourth quarter depending on what you guys get subbed into now hopefully you guys listen to me and didn't grab your fouls in the first quarter or you guys are unfortunately going to have to play a little bit of the fourth quarter so now assuming you guys did terrible and you guys got subbed straight into the fourth quarter that's basically what you guys need to do in order to ensure you guys get VC every game. Now, again, we do not foul out. We just grab our fouls in the second and the third quarter. And then we're going to get put into the end of the fourth as long as you're on a team that relatively is decent. That's why I suggested going to the Spurs because they're not too good and they're not too terrible. But with this, like I said, do not foul out or you guys are going to mess it up. But also, I am going to say... As long as you guys keep following this process and redoing it over and over again and having crappy games, you guys ensure that one, you're going to get 800 VC a game and two, you guys are also going to have five minutes a game so you guys can play low key. I think I had three minutes played in this game, so I managed to get 800 VC in three whole minutes. If you guys want to do the math, I'm sure someone's going to do it and drop it down in the comment section below. I'm not doing that for you guys because it's like 3 a.m. when I'm recording this. That's such so much energy. So once this game is just about to be over, I'm going to show you guys how much VC I did get awarded just for the skeptics. So, okay, the game just ended. You guys see we did get badge progress because we managed to get a couple of stats. Don't worry about that too much because we did play a little bit of defense. We got a couple rebounds. But you guys are going to see, look, with Hall of Fame difficulty, we managed to get 780 7 vc for this game so just follow that process keep redoing these steps and you guys are going to get a ton of vc every hour so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and as well subscribe it's been your boy jj2k i am out peace